Dear, I'm celebrating Christmas for the 41st time. During that time, I've received many gifts over the years. Some are wonderful and have lasted years. Some I quickly ate, and perhaps they stick with me on my waistline. Some I never used. Some, my first thought is, how can I regift this? Or why did this person think that I would like this? What are some of the gifts you have received over the years? Have you gotten some good gifts? Have you also gotten a few dead gifts? What are you hoping to receive this year? There are some gifts we receive that are extra special gifts. They are gifts that come out of love. These love gifts are very special indeed. When I turned 40, I received a loved gift that was organized by my wife, Beck. She organized letters from my friends and family from all over the U.S. and Australia. They wrote special letters just to me. They were letters sharing special memories or how I'd impacted them. This was a gift of love. It wasn't something that I would eat and be done with or that would break and be thrown away. It was a gift that I will always cherish. This Christmas, you will probably get many gifts. You might even get a love gift from someone close to you. But the greatest love gift we have ever received was Jesus. John 3.16 starts with, For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son. God loves you and me so much that he sent Jesus, and Jesus was his love gift for you and me. It is one that will never be used up, never be broken, or never have to be thrown away, as the gift of Jesus is eternal. It's a gift that while we can share it with others, we would never imagine regifting it. Have you ever received a gift and had to ask, what does it do? So maybe you know that Christmas is about celebrating Jesus' birth, and have heard that Jesus is the true Christmas gift. But perhaps you might ask, yes, but what does he do? Let me tell you, the gift of Jesus frees us from the punishment of our sin, which is death. It restores our relationship with God. It gives us the Holy Spirit to be our guide here on earth, and it gives us eternal life with God in heaven when this life is done. That sounds like a pretty amazing gift to me. It wasn't without a price, as Jesus paid for it with his death when he took the punishment of our sin, and he conquered death three days later when he rose again. To receive this gift, we are to believe in Jesus and put our faith and trust in him. And the good news is that this gift comes with instructions that can be found in God's word, the Bible. Jesus truly is a love gift for us. So this year, as we celebrate Christmas and we enjoy all the wonderful gifts from our loved ones, let's remember the ultimate love gift of Jesus that was sent to earth 2,000 years ago so that he might restore our relationship with God, that we might have forgiveness of our sins and salvation because of Jesus and what he did for you and me. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for Christmas. Lord, we thank you for this time where we can celebrate your love, the love gift of Jesus that came to us. Lord, as we celebrate with our family and friends, may we remember what you have done for us, what Jesus came to do. And Lord, for those who may not believe, Lord, may we, we believe in you, believe in what Jesus has done for us, so that we might have this salvation that we've talked about today. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's continue our service and end with O Holy Night. <laughs> 